Hi. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Mars the Seven, Jimbo Marshall. Um, it's your boy today. Um, called Jack. He's probably on a Google Duo call soon because he sent me a link to that and then he deleted it. I was like, never mind. Yeah. Also, <laughs> he got muted on a Discord server because he pinged and he's not allowed to. So, yeah. But, um, today, we, we're gonna, we're, so today we're gonna react to something about Moist Critical. It's been about two, three months since we've watched a video for, of his, so let's watch it. Let's watch So This one is about the Johnny Depp versus Amber, Amber Heard trial. Her, I, have, I don't really know much in depth about this, um, to be honest with you, honestly, but like, I've heard like stuff like, uh, I'm like, I heard JD on told me that Amber Heard's hot. <laughs> Not, he didn't tell me personally. I heard him say, like, he thinks Amber Heard's hot. I'm like, yeah, I've heard stuff. I've heard on like an ET in Entertainment Tonight. Because Entertainment, what's, what, what's Entertainment Tonight without the Kardashians? <laughs> Made a video on her over at Celebrities. Go check it out. She's on there. Yeah, but like, Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard. I'm actually going to search it up real quick. So, let's see what this is actually, why everyone's buzzing about it. All right, let's do this. What is the Jahani Depp Amber Heard of cows? What she heard? What she hear? trial <laughs> oh yeah and this is like when we want to react to like Kyle Rittenhouse or whatever but like Johnny Depp's a famous guy so might as well uh, Johnny C. Depp IIB dot Amber Laura Heard was a defamation trial in Fairfax County Virginia that began on April 11th and ended on today actually June 1st 2022 Plaintiff Johnny Depp alleged a three counts of defamation against the defendant Amber Heard, causing U U.S. money signed fifty million, fifty million dollars in U.S. currency and damages. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's been it's been talked about for the last month or two. Not two months, almost two months actually. Yeah, so I, what is defamation? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know much about court cases. I'm not in the politics or anything. That's why I support Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Action of damaging to get reputation someone saying. Oh, <laughs> just damage reputation. I don't even know what's going on anymore. All right, video's over. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a nice day, and goodbye. See you on the next one. I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyways, let's check this out. It's my, it's my, our boy Moist Critical, so let's watch it. Without further ado, let's get started. I was wondering why he calls himself a different name on YouTube. Just call yourself Moist Critical, man. <laughs> people are, people are going to know. People, people will be okay with it. That's nah, all good. We don't touch Moist. He's also... Also, massively respect him for putting tough videos on. I know I talk about a lot, but he's actually genuine. I genuinely like him as a great YouTuber. Seems like a great person, too. Anyways, let's do this. So, Moist, what do you want to say about this child? Great, great snaps. And he looks like he just fallen. Ah, uh, Amber Heard, Johnny Depp. Oh, yeah. Johnny Depp, let's see what. Captain Jack, I don't even know. I'm sorry. I, I don't watch. I don't know much about Johnny Depp besides besides the fact how he plays guitar pretty badly. Because I've seen, I'm a CVT fan, and he plays it like whenever I think I was Johnny Depp. Anyways, let's check it out. Let's see what Johnny Depp against Amber Heard. Let's see what he actually won. Did he win a trip to Florida? We'll see. Or did he win a lot of money? Or did he win nothing? Or is it just a scam? Without further ado, let's get started. I should have put Jack on this video. And you know what? 
Um, let's actually, I'm actually going to tell Jack that I'm making a video right now. Um, sorry, it's taking so long, but like, skip, skip, skip to when I actually start. Yeah. But like, um, let me, I'm going to tell Jack I'm making a video in case he wants to join. But uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. I'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> Golly, watch your nights. It's so dang strict. <laughs> All right. Making video on Johnny Deep Depp versus Amber Heard. If you wanna join that was it okay so jack why is this not cooperating i had to volume all the way up the johnny depp vs amber heard trial finally concluded today which i know is great news for people who are just tired of hearing about it i'm not all right jack, jack jack's not in to that anyways i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna boot i cannot hear anything i'm sorry if it plays really 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 loudly i'm terribly sorry about that just i can't hear a thing on here my hearing's fine all right and i'm just gonna boost that to like 314. that was it the johnny depp vs amber heard trial finally concluded today which i know is great news for people who are just tired of hearing about it i'm not one of those people i was actually captivated by this anime here because it was treated like an actual circus it was an, an unbelievable spectacle. Everything was super public, and it even had its own line. Ah, uh, freaking here. I'll pause the video. Oh, no, come. Sorry about that, guys. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I just, I don't know what's going on with this. But, like, what is happening, man? I can't. Yeah, my computer is taking, doing lots of difficulties. I want full, full screen, not this BS. Where is it? Okay. Alright, we're just gonna... We're actually just gonna reload this. I don't give a crap at this point. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, hold on. I'm sorry, it's taking so long. Alright, it turns into deal with the low volume. Sorry if it's low, but... I don't want, I don't want y'all to be distracted. Let's do it. Ah! Gods! Sorry guys, just trying to. Sorry, I'm wasting so much time. I need. To, I'll post a timestamp in the description when this actually starts. Let's see. Yeah, we'll see. Let's do this. Amber Heard trial. The Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard trial finally concluded today, which I know is great news for people who are just tired of hearing about it. I'm not one of those people. I was actually captivated by this anime here because it was treated like an actual circus. <laughs> It was an, an unbelievable spectacle. Yeah. Everything was super- Oh, by the way, random thing. Moist makes my- Moist makes look- makes my hair look short. Public, and it even had its own line of comic relief characters from Amber Heard's legal team. The actual subject matter of the trial was very serious and no laughing matter, but as the trial yeah, continued, it became nothing but a laughing matter. Anytime mm -hmm. Amber Heard's lawyers would say anything, they made fools of themselves. They were like court jesters. They would object to their own statements. Screaming hearsay anytime someone even opened their mouths. They said hearsay so often that words started to lose meaning to me. I swear to God, they said hearsay more than they said the word the. It was wild. Uh, there was even a time when one of the lawyers said to someone on the stand that you're only here for your 15 minutes of fame. And then got absolutely dunked on for it. They made fools of themselves. They even coined a new term with a mega pint, saying that Johnny Depp poured himself a mega pint of wine or whatever. And it got the whole court laughing at them. And it got every oh lawyer on the internet doing a giant belly laugh like Santa Claus at them. They were just an absolute joke. But by far the biggest joke was on Amber Heard who was literally paying them to embarrass themselves. She was basically just paying huge fees to birthday party clowns in court to represent her. It was just such a wacky ride. Like, one of the pieces of evidence against Amber Heard was that she took a shit in Johnny Depp's bed and then blamed the dog. 
and then they showed a picture of the poopy on the bed. Just a steaming, smudged pile of shit on the bed. Ew. And then that gave Amber Heard the new name Amber Turd, which was then <laughs> brought up in court three times. They brought in a Twitter expert to analyze trending hashtags, one of them being Amber Turd, which they referenced three oh times throughout this segment. Just on full display for the whole court to laugh at. Blows my mind. But anyway, when they did get to the serious stuff, the domestic abuse claims, the evidence they used to support those claims was shady at best. So all of the evidence that they used to build all of this shit against Johnny Depp for being a wife-beating abuser, a horrible, evil person, all of that evidence finally hit the public's eye and was heavily uh, criticized and analyzed. And as the trial continued, it became less and less reliable. And Amber Heard was caught in multiple lies. It was a very sketchy set of uh, evidence. And eventually, the jury sided with Johnny Depp today. They awarded him $10 million in compensatory damages as well yeah, as yeah. $5 million in punitive damages, which is capped at $350,000. So he didn't get the full $5 million there, but he will be getting three fifty k. And he basically won the entire defamation case. However, Amber Heard did win on one of her claims for her countersuit and was awarded $2 million for the statements that Waldman had made about uh, certain things being a hoax. So she won a very small component. However, Johnny Depp won the overall defamation case. And like I said from the very beginning, I don't think Johnny Depp gives a fuck about the money. He wipes his ass with $10 million. That means nothing to him. I think this really was about him just clearing his name in the public eye, which he did triumphantly. You'd have to travel a thousand miles to a place without internet and cell phone service to find someone who didn't at least know about the trial. And the majority of people that were watching it sided with Johnny Depp. Once all of this evidence came into the court in the public eye and they analyzed it and really got into the meat of it, people then started siding with Depp and his team because the evidence against him was so fucking sketchy. Okay, pause right there. That's, a, that's probably the longest time I've watched a video without pausing it on this channel. But Amber Turd? What the f- Okay, this this probably went off the rails immediately. Like, Amber Heard- Amber Heard comes off very skeptical to me. And I would probably side with Johnny Depp based on all the stuff I've heard. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, um... But like, I- I- Yeah. Man, this is this has got to be weird. And Johnny Depp won by, like, but will probably make sense because Amber Turr really took a crap in the dog Amy in their bed. Okay, first of all, who does that in the first place? That's 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 disgusting. And then blames on the dog. And also, second, what what the dog doing? He's just there. What the dog doing? I know, right? It feels weird. Yes, yeah, Johnny Depp probably did some bad stuff to Amber Heard, but like. He probably did more good than Am probably did less bad than Amber. Yeah, but um, it's nice to, to hear that this court case is gonna be settled once and for all. I and mean, this isn't this isn't this is not gonna be like this. This might be compared to like I don't know. This ain't gonna be like uh, Marbury versus Madison or like McCulloch versus Maryland, Maryland or Worcestershire versus Worcestershire. What Worcestershire versus Georgia? Those are like really old court cases. But this one, Depp versus her. Might, might learn about the U.S. history in a couple years. I don't even know. Let's keep on going. And this you know, is a lot more about court, about like what court cases did. In the, last year in uh, eighth grade in U.S. history. Thank you, Miss McCage, Michelle. Yeah, those are my actual teachers. Yeah, too, because like one, one. Because one actually got promoted to, and somewhere, and then there was a student teacher that part teach part time and went full time. Yeah, but um, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, I learned about all those court cases. Yeah, I know this one's brand new, so yeah. A lot of people literally like against him was so fucking sketchy, and yeah. this led to a lot of people literally like worshiping Johnny Depp, like kissing his feet and all of that shit. Ah, it's just like Kyle, Kyle Ritten, kind of like having to Kyle Ritten now. <laughs> I know Kyle Rittenhouse killed like three people in the protests, and he's like 19 or whatever. I don't know about Kyle Rittenhouse, honestly. I just hear, I just know Jedion acts like his name is Kyle Rittenhouse. Yeah. Crazy. 
and I want to make my position clear here. I've said this before, but I want to say it again. I don't think Johnny Depp is some infallible saint who would rush into a burning building to save children's lives or something like that. True. I, I don't think that he's perfect or anything. No. But there is no, that's, no one's perfect. No evidence to suggest that Johnny Depp is an abuser. None of his exes have ever said anything like that or brought anything forward mm. against him like that. Uh, all the evidence Amber Heard used against him wasn't really substantial evidence. It wasn't like super credible. It, it, like, it was proven in court that it was walked through editing software at the very least. So there's no real evidence to suggest that Johnny Depp is an abuser in any way. So I do think today that justice was served. As one person in Twitch chat said, Amber Heard made her bed and it was time she shit in it. And that's exactly what happened here. The only things Johnny Depp was found guilty of are sleeping in weird positions, spilling ice cream, dabbling in drugs, which isn't exactly like a stunning revelation that's going to have people gasping and recoiling in their chair in disbelief. I think everyone ever knows that pretty much all Hollywood celebrities do drugs. Okay, yeah. So, John, Johnny Depp, that's literally the most minor thing, besides the drug pain, but like, dropping ice cream, sleeping in weird positions? What the heck is wrong with Amber Heard, man? But like, that's like very minor. Yeah, drugs are pretty concerning, but like, that's not like, <laughs> in someone's bed, but like, I don't even know. That wasn't exactly shocking. Mm -hmm. And also, he sent really cringy, edgy text messages to people about Amber Heard. And yeah, the text messages were kind of weird and read like some shit you'd find on an obscure Tumblr blog from some edgy teenager. All right. that's it. Gross, weird text messages and sleeping. Those were the only things that he was confirmed to be guilty of. Nothing Not about abusive just, oh, oh. has been confirmed with any actual evidence to support it from this trial. I'd also like to say I'm really tired of the people that just sit in the middle without doing any amount of research and say, I think we can all agree that they both abused each other. I completely disagree. There is no evidence to suggest Johnny Depp has abused Amber Heard or anyone in his past. Meanwhile, there is evidence to suggest that Amber Heard has abused Johnny Depp. She had literally even said it on audio that she has hit him before. And then with the entire severed finger thing, there's just plenty of evidence yeah. to support. I'm definitely silent with Johnny Depp on this thing. Amber Heard... Amber Turd, how much you can call him that, her death. <laughs> and like, yeah. Obviously what she did was bad. Johnny Depp is, he's on the, like, Amber Heard's obviously in the wrong for this part. But like, yeah. And like, no, you don't hit your husband. If my wife hit me, I leave her. Or my girlfriend or whatever. I leave her immediately because that, like, and she did it for seriousness. If she, like, I would never, ever... Guys, I would never, ever, 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 ever abuse my wife or girlfriend or even... I wouldn't really abuse anyone. No, I... Yeah. But I would never, ever, ever abuse anyone. I would never abuse my, my dog. Never, ever abuse my parents. Never abuse my girlfriend. Never abuse my family. Never abuse my friends. And never, ever... Like, yeah. I really abuse anyone. Once they're abusing me, I'll abuse them. Well, like, like if random strength, like if Sam was abusing me, then, I, then I'd. Well, let's just you If you fight, let's say. If, okay, I don't really want to talk. Let's say if someone fought me, I'd fight them, but like. Yeah, I don't want I, I, I don't like talking about Sam, honestly. <laughs> Whatever. Let's keep on going. Support that claim, but none for the claim that Johnny Depp is an abuser. So I don't like that perspective, and I equally don't like the media trying to spin this as a really bad thing for women. I've already seen plenty of articles illustrating how dangerous this is for women who are survivors of domestic abuse. Amber Heard losing this means that no one's ever going to believe women again. No, that's fucking outrageous that you would even say something as disgusting as that and then print it. This yeah. has nothing to do with that. This has to do with an individual lying to ruin someone's life in a completely malicious way. And it was proven in court that she lied multiple times about multiple things. Yeah, this Amber is Heard's a pretty, pretty bad person. Let's be honest. Nothing to do about not believing women. This has to do with 
one person who happens to be a woman that told these lies and got blasted for it legally. And I, I'm so tired of that fucking spin on it. Now, I do think this is a good thing for male survivors of domestic abuse. Because yeah, like, Amber Heard probably like a Karen or whatever. Anyway, as I'm interested in more sustained life. that fucking spin on it. Now, I do think this is a good thing for male survivors of domestic abuse because for many years, people just looked at that as like a comical haha -ha goof. Mm. Men can't be uh, victims of domestic abuse. There was even a goddamn episode on Dr. Phil where a guy who was being abused by his girlfriend was brought on and Dr. Phil to his face said that he probably deserved it and to toughen up and it's his fault he's getting abused by his girlfriend. And then there was also that case where Terry Crews came forward with his uh, his accounts of being sexually assaulted and people on the internet attacked him for it, like, toughen up, this isn't real sexual assault, men can't be sexually assaulted. It's disgusting. And I think this case does help bring light to the fact that men can be victims. Yeah. Victim. Yes, like, when... Honestly, it's bad. Like, everyone, if you get violence, I don't even care. Like, like if, you're getting, if your wife is abusing you, that union you need, then you need to get help immediately. Like, you need to drive divorce. Like, or, like, send it. Sending reports to the police, I don't know, whatever. But, like, even, like, let's say... Um, but for instance, even if you're, like, in a couple with... Yeah. Like, what if whether you're a man or a woman, if it's... Whether it's a man abusing a woman, a woman abusing a man, a woman abusing a woman, or a man abusing a man, then you, then you got... Then you... You can't let that happen to you, man. Like, like you gotta get help. Like, like whenever you're getting, when, whoever you're getting it from, I don't care what gene it is, and get help immediately. Like, like, like you need to get them. Like, you need, like, you need to get help. I'm just saying. Like, unless, unless if you're, like, if you're, if you're abusing the person, then, then you're just in the wrong. But if you're getting abused, you need to like call like the police or whatever. Anyways, I'm not, I'm not the greatest person to get advice from, but like, I'm, but that, but that reference, that's what I call advice. No, I'm never, like I've, I've given pretty good advice in the past. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but like this though, like you can let it, whether you're a man or a woman, in whatever relationship you are in, you can't let that happen to you. Like, you can't let pe your wife abuse you for, like, or your husband abuse you, whoever the frick it is, abuse you. You can't let that happen, man. Like, you gotta get, you gotta, like, get, you, gotta, you gotta, like, bring in, you gotta, like, at least get some help on it. Anyway, and if they're really abusing you hard, then you gotta get them sued for it, maybe in jail. Yeah. Either way, if, if, you're, if you're getting abused by your, your significant other, so I say then get, you, you need to get some help. Like, I'm not saying that as an insult, I'm just saying like you, like you genuinely need, you need to get help to like save yourself from that abuse. Let's see what I'm going. What the frick? No. Don't, don't, I, I, I just made it in the video. Can I actually finish it? Domestic abuse. And in one or of I'm Amber Heard's audio okay. logs, she even hints at the idea that no one's going to believe a man is the victim of domestic abuse. It's fucking gross. Yeah, I'm Amber really Heard sounds sexist too. Out of that perspective, I've said this for a long time. That shit makes me angry. Men yeah. and women can both be victims of domestic abuse. Yes, yeah, that's it is all saying. More common in women, but that doesn't mean that it's impossible for men to be abused as well. Exactly. And this has nothing to do with men versus women. This case just had to do with a man who happened to be likely the victim of domestic abuse, being attacked by his ex-wife and having his life ruined and completely shut down because of false claims and allegations made against him by her. This yes. has nothing to do with not believing women. So yeah, anyway, I just wanted to briefly talk about this. Since Amber Heard needs, needs to go to jail, trial, honestly. Like everyone else. And since it's concluded now, just wanted to talk about it a bit. That's really all. See so, ya. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Amber Heard's just like... Very... <laughs> Amber Heard's an a-hole, honestly. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But like, 
Amber Heard is pro sounds like a really bad person. <laughs> like, never, ever, ever do that to your significant other. Like, never. Because that could get you in big, big, big trouble. Don't even, don't ever abuse your significant other. Don't, and don't make false claims against him. Because that's what you get, that's what gets you in big, big trouble. Yeah. Anyways, y'all, uh, that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe. Have a nice day. And goodbye. See you on the next one. Peace.